welcome to a left play on yeah Mario Maker. I decided to start a series on Mario Maker because you know it's just awesome and yeah. So today I am going to be showing off a couple of levels and giving shoutouts to people for them. So let's go into Maker into my following. And let's start with my friend, Cam1240. Now, this is a level he made called Bowser's Trick Room. And it's a bit complicated. Uh, the, I set the world record at first with 8 minutes, but then brought it down to 1 minute because I figured out what to do. So, yeah, I just gotta grab this. Uh, Yoshi can stand on these spikes, wait for the chain jump. I don't need to- oh, dang it. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to complete it. I need Yoshi for that part so I can dismount off of him, which is what he wanted. So, yeah. So as you can see, it's a bit difficult to actually do this, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually not as hard. Ow. So I'm not going to spend the whole video on Bowser's Trick Room, so I think you got the idea. It's it's really hard to do. I've only completed it like once, so I'm not going to just spend the whole video on that. So yeah, shout out to Cam1240. So as you might have seen the Think Noodles and Stampy competition, I have all their levels, and I should, and I feel like I should play Think Noodles. Minecraft adventure just because Minecraft is like awesome and I love it. So yeah. I like what he did here with like the tools. I like didn't know what it was until like I actually saw him make the video and like I saw what everything was. So then I started to understand it a bit. And yeah, because I was just looking at stuff and I wasn't like, I didn't know. So I gotta, I gotta go down here anyway because there's a Yoshi that I need. Come on Yoshi, eat him. Go up, uh. And, okay, so I need Yoshi over here. Because the munchers. So, yeah. Uh, oh, I should probably grab the checkpoint. Now we can dismount. And then over here there's bomb bombs. And a diamond pickaxe. That's supposed to be a creeper. And the bombs, I guess, represent the explosion. Over here we have the nether portal. Now I am in the nether. And the next level I will show you guys is actually one of my levels. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just show you. So yeah, shout out to Think Noodles. And yeah, I hope that if you watch it, uh, I hope that if Think Noodles watches it, he likes that I showed the video. So let's do a couple of my world uh, levels. These aren't all mine. They're some of my brothers too. So let's start with one that I made called Hall of Death, and it's a pretty hard level according to my brothers. So yeah, we got the swamp giant one hitting the bricks all the way down, and then over here we have the hammer bro throwing the stuff at you. Get away from me. And then you got your fire flower. Sound effects telling you, good job, yeah. Rainbow! And then over here you got a disco party. Now you gotta find the invisible Yoshi, which is right here. And then you got fireworks as you run across the munchers. Now it's a good thing if you keep your Yoshi because of the next part that I'm going to. Because as you can see with the wall jump, there's fire. So if you keep your Yoshi, you can eliminate all the fire just by licking it. 
And I'm actually a bit disappointed about this level because I had uploaded it, but uh, it was taken down. I don't know why. And then one of my brother's levels was taken down as well. And then we got the swamps running after you. Over here we got uh, lots of fire. Yeah, I didn't know all like the mechanics when I made this level. Like this was one of the first ones I made, but I wanted to make it really hard because I have I had seen some YouTubers play this before me. So yeah, I wanted to make a hard a harder to beat level so that it was a bit challenging. So if you lose your fire, you still got like a chance to defeat him. What you do is you get Bowser Jr. out of there, and then you, if, it sometimes works where you wall jump, and then you can jump over Bowser. So, yeah, you get the gist of that level. So, the next level I want to show you, it's, um, a level that, um, what should I show? A level that, um, my brother made, I guess. And this one is called Yokai Watch because he loves Yokai Watch. So yeah, I'll play through that level really quick. It's a fairly short level because uh, don't tell him I said this, but he's kind of a bad Mario Maker player. I don't want him, to... and he knows that, but he doesn't want to admit it. Feather, and then grab the fire, eliminate all of these. No, 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 don't call him. And over here we got the hammer bros. Yeah. Oh, and then over here we have a bunch of Bowser stack. I don't know why, but every time I play this level, I just feel like I want to eliminate all the Bowser for some reason. Like, I feel like I haven't totally completed it until I defeated all of them. And, uh, yeah, I bet, uh, I'm sorry about, like, the delay in my videos. I bet you guys have noticed that, um, yeah, my videos have been, like, on a break for a while. But that's only because, um, I've been up, I had been uploading on my tablet, and, um, I couldn't sign into YouTube on it, so yeah, that's why there was a big break, and I apologize for it. Yeah, so this level here is called Bowser's Playtime, also one of my levels. And I don't know where I came up with the name, I just didn't have a name in mind at the time. So yeah, at, at first it was called Goompocalypse, but then I renamed it, because there weren't as many Goombas. I didn't put as many Goombas in, the, in there as I, like, expected. Like, what I do is I, like, think of a level in my head, and then I just start making it. Like, I don't really think of the level before I make it, I just make it. So, yeah. Kind of, and then down here we have a giant Bowser Jr. you gotta kill. Well, you don't have to. You can jump over here, get in the pipe before he's dead. Or you can totally defeat him whatever way you want. And over here, it looks really cool. Yeah, that is so awesome. I, I love that. And then over here, we have the checkpoint with two mini boats. Or airships, I should say. And then, I bet you know where this goes. So it's over to these dry bones. And yeah, you can kill them. And yeah. And then, oh, no, 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 and then we got fire over here. And then, uh, this is the final ship. This is why I added that sound effect. It's like something scary is coming. Because there's giant Bowser. I don't know why I always have giant Bowser instead of regular Bowser. I just find regular Bowser is easier to defeat because he's like so tiny. So even if you don't defeat him with a fire flower or something, you can like just jump under over him because he's so small. And yeah. So we completed that level. 
And then I'm going to show you another one of mine that um, was actually kind of inspired by Cam1240. And, like, he kind of proofed my idea. So this, this one is actually uploaded if you want to check it out if you have Mario Maker. So, yeah, you get your mushroom, and then you have to choose which pipe you want. You go in this one, or else, and the other two are death. You get that to tell you that it's the right one. Oh, no. No, no. no. I've never failed on that. And then over here, you got magic Koopas. Which really not, which really aren't good, because, yeah, and then over here you got a bullet, and then missiles, yeah, and then those, that's the pipes over there in that section, and then over here you got, uh, cannons firing up to the sky, and then into the second section of the mansion, I don't know why, but I like to divide my levels into sections. I guess it's just the way that I do stuff. Like, I like to divide stuff into sections. Because it's... Then it's not like one long level, it's like back and forth. Which I kind of like about Mario Maker is that you can do that. So... Yeah, and then you grab a fire flower here, and then here's another fight with, uh, Bowser Jr. And then up here you got Swamp hitting question marks, which is why all that shaking is coming. And then I'll just kill him, because he's almost dead. And there we go, he's dead. And then this is the final section. I don't know why, but in Mario games, uh, me and my brothers call these toast for some reason. I don't know why we came up with that, we just did. And then, this is, this is a cool part that I like, that I made. So you get in the clown copter and you have to like dodge all the cannonballs. I really enjoyed making that part. And then up here, as you can guess, oh no, I forgot about that. Even though I made this level and I uploaded like the other day. So you got giant hammer rows and then you got a couple of the spiky turtle thingies. And then you got mini hammer rows over, well, regular size. And then once again you got the giant Bowser at the back. Yeah. Did you just die already? And then... Uh, I think we got time for one more level that was also made by me, and I know what you're thinking, uh, I'm just showing off my levels, but, um, my brother Beaconator, he can show off his levels if he does Mario Maker Let's Plays, and yeah, I think we got time for one more level, and this one is called Moonbase Takedown, and I really enjoyed making this one. And, yeah, it was pretty cool. So, over here, you got Rocky Wrenches, and they're guarding a rocket ship. And now we are inside the rocket ship. And then you get your Fire Flower. And then in here, you have a mini Bowser Jr., which is probably not what you'd expect from me. And then over there is a thing from, from later, but I'm not going to go in there. It's just a bunch of coins in case you want to raid and like, get some one-ups or something. And then here, what I designed it to be is you need at least a mushroom to get through there, or else you will die, which I kind of like that. And then we're out of the rocket ship, onto the first moon base. <sighs> this one is actually pretty hard. Uh, that's never happened to me yet. And over here we got jumping piranhas. Weird, I, I swore there were five. I must have killed them. And then this is the hard part over here, bumpers. Oh, I hate that part. Honestly, it's so hard. 
go. Yeah, I really apologize. Oh, God. Okay, you know what I might just do? I'm, I'm just going to go into edit mode and then just show you the rest from where I left off. So right over here is after the bumpers. And then you go down here into the doorway, down the pipe. And you are in the second uh, moon base section. You got some munchers. Dodge Ow. Dodge them. I'll just pass the munchers. And then over here you have to ride something, which is actually kind of dangerous because Bowser Jr. can jump at you at any time, which has happened to me when I was editing my level. And it scared the crap out of me. So yeah, then you get up here and there's like. Oh, oh. There's magic Koopa shooting at ya. Which I don't like. I don't like them, but it makes the level harder. Because I like to make the hard levels because I, I, I don't know. I just, I just feel like Mario Maker needs some like harder levels. I mean, there are levels that are harder than mine. I know there are, but I think that I just need to make a couple of harder levels. Like, I don't want to make all easy levels. And then this is the final moon base here. Um, and then throw the bomb bomb. There we go. And then if I can get him into the... There we go. And then under... No, 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 don't leave. And then, you'll understand that later. Trust me, you will. And then up here, I was trying to make it so that you had to, like, duck. Or else you got burned, but that didn't work. So, yeah. It was either not get burned or get totally burned. So, yeah. And then you get in here to the final moon base. And then, I kind of got... I kind of got this idea from my friend, because he used this in one of his levels, so it's like, um, this is like the Mario Bros. DS kind of battle style, where you push the button, and then Bowser falls off the bridge, and then yeah, you get celebration, yeah, oh yeah, I'm so awesome, and then out here, Here's that part. It's like he's still falling. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. It's like he's still falling. And then over here you got... And then you win. So, yeah, that's... That's my level moon base takedown. Uh, I really enjoyed making that level. It took... Uh, about two hours, but... Yeah. So... I'm just going to wrap up this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, hit that like button. And also, don't forget to tell friends about this channel. Because it's a great channel if you like gaming. And yeah, this is Sapphire Ocelot.